Welcome Virgo, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at the minute using Soul Truth, the Seven Energies Oracle and Energy Oracle. Energy, energy. Every red energy. Okay, right, Virgo. Let's have a look here. We're using Soul Truth. I don't like that, just fell out. Three cards for Virgo, please. One, two, wow. Well, Okay, three. Let's pick that up. Okay, there you go. First cut up here is, am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? Second one is, how, how can I deepen my trust right now? Okay, and the third one is, what am I looking for outside of myself that is already within me? Okay, there you go. Let's have a little look-see at the first one. You are the asset. This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling. How much sleep are you getting? And what can you do to help your body rest? So the action that you can take, Virgo. Take a bath. Put on some lavender essential oil. Go to bed ridiculously early. Or give yourself a time out today. Notice your body thanking you. The mantra that you can say to yourself is, the more I give myself permission to rest, the more I can contribute. Yeah. Really is about rejuvenating. <clears throat> it's, a, it's like a car, right? You want to... Now, what did I do last time? I can't remember which order I did these in. <clears throat> I think these ones here. Um, you want to, yeah, it's like a car. Yeah, you want to you wanna keep it up. You want to keep the service up. You don't want to, you know, you're not going to run it, not put petrol in it and oil and water, right? You're going to do what it takes in order to keep the car running for as long as possible um, so that you get the most out of it. And it's the same with your body. <clears throat> But I love how that began. You are the asset. So you yourself is the asset. And it's your body that carries you, the asset, through this life, right? <coughs> love that. Excuse me, Virgo. My throat's really croaky. One more card for... Oh, yeah, sweet. Okay, so let me just turn that back over. What's this first card here? Walking away. Okay, Virgo, walking away. Maybe walking away from um, things that you do in your life that don't serve you, that don't help um, your body to be the best that it can be. Potentially really looking at... Um, I, I see this as going to new pastures in the sense of sort of like going, going from, say, like Macca's to the veggie garden, right? And that's what I feel like is, this is saying here, right? It's the end of a cycle and I feel like this ending of the cycle is about you and how you, um, how you show up to the world and you're actually going in a sense of, how do I want to show up to the world and what do I need to do in order to show up in that capacity, right? Okay, and the next one is Magician and the Mirror. Magician and the Mirror. I feel like this is taking a really good hard look at yourself. And looking in the mirror and actually seeing your abilities and what it is that you are capable of. I don't know, Virgo, if some of you really truly see, like, it's, it's sort of like I'm getting this image of someone looking in the mirror and going, yeah, 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 I'm sweet. But deep down inside, when you really dig and delve deep, that's not really how it feels. It's sort of like this cover. Anyway, tell me more about walking away for Virgo, please. 
And, it, and you know what, Virgo, I feel like it's actually been able to show up in your life for with the in the power that you actually possess like the magician right okay so okay so we've got well time machine bearing fruit and great and full yeah love this yeah um uh this is sort of like what i'm seeing here is is imagining yourself virgo in the future and what you want that to look like right just kind of what i've said here um already of going how do i want to be in the world how do i want to be as myself what do I want that to look like? And then working out a way to make that happen for yourself. So going into that future you and kind of having a little bit of a, a conversation and saying, okay, what do you need? What do you need from me right now? What can I start doing right now in order to be this best version of myself that truly I desire to be? You know, bearing fruit. I love this. This is really um, being aware of the seeds that you are planting um, and, and what that is creating. Not just going and walking through life by default. Actually, truly going, what do I want to do and how am I going to do it? Every step you take on this earth, taking it purposefully um, and with awareness of what it is that you are creating. Okay, and look at this, great and full. This is you, Virgo, right? Being great and full. Full of your greatness. And that's not in a cocky way, right? This is in a way of, this is what I'm pouring into my cup. This is what I planted. Because look at this tree here. There is mana in this tree, right? It has wisdom. It has experience. What is it that you can produce from all that? You don't have to plant yourself again, right? You can use what it is that you've got. Okay, step into this energy of being great and full. Yeah? Because that's what you are. And, and filling yourself up. With that energy and that power. And bringing it to the table to go. This right here is what I'm about. Right? This is the asset I am. Yeah, Virgo. Yeah, you go. Okay, Magician in the Mirror. Tell me more about this for Virgo, please. And, you know, this is about really believing in yourself that you can create this for yourself. You know, it's not too late. Too many cards there. It's not too late. Oh, the deck. I'm going to pick that one up. I love this. Okay, so we've got first up here, body and soul. And this is, I feel, this connection between your soul and your body. Really, really um, honoring your body, okay, from a soul's point of view. Because it is your, your body is the vehicle that is taking your soul through this lifetime, right? So getting those integrated so that they can work together. Because your soul definitely knows what your body needs. And deep down you do too. You know what you need to do. You're not silly, Virgo, right? So, yeah, in that regard, I really feel as though that it's important for you to um, to start tuning in, okay? And we have tender embrace. And honestly, I feel like this is your body and your soul, right? Um, actually working in harmony together. Um, and, and from that, the magic that you can create is incredible. Um, the other thing I'm getting about this is that, especially with the, um, the cup here, this could actually be a connection with somebody else um, and a soul connection. And you've both come to connect 
um, in the physical in order to create magic in the world. Okay, so there is this possibility here. So I feel like it's really important for you to focus on what it is that you need to do in order to fulfill this contract, okay? And I don't use contract lightly um, because this is actually quite incredibly um, divine, I would say. Okay, how can I deepen my trust right now, Virgo? Just wonder if this is trust for yourself. Virgo. Okay, trust, surrender, let go of the will. You can trust. You can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Trust creates safety. And when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. Today's soul action. Let go and trust. Today, find your center in the chaos and be certain with yourself so you can deepen your trust in others. And I would say not just today, but every single day. Do this, right? Find your center in the chaos. I saw something the other day. can't remember who it was by, but it was, you know, saying we are the rest in the unrest, Right? Be the rest in the unrest or something along those lines. It was beautiful and I was like, yeah, it's sort of like finding that centre in the chaos of everything around you, right? Um, and look, I know that it can be hard to trust people, right? Um, but if you can get that for yourself first and foremost, it's going to be a lot easier. One card here. They can't decide whether they want to come out or not. One more card for Virgo. Okay. Okay. Virgo, door to romance. And woman holding a heart. Okay. So this is clearly about a relationship here. Or, you know, one that you would like to form if it's not existing already. Really interesting because I'm seeing 22 here and 33 um, and 44. So this is certainly um, something that is quite a divine connection. Okay. And this heart in the cage here. This is about you opening the door to allow people in, to allow somebody in here, Virgo, okay, you hold the key first, and it's up to you to open it, and this is what this trust is about, yeah, the key is the trust and the surrendering, to let it flow, instead of caging away and feeling like I need to do this to keep myself protected, because what you're doing is actually hindering your growth. There's all these other things that you're doing to help yourself grow. But this. Because this is the thing that you're afraid of. Because it could hurt you the most. But when you trust yourself. And when you know that you're, you've got this. You know that you'll always be okay. You'll always be okay. You'll always survive whatever it is that comes towards you. Yeah. But with this magician here and what can be created, this is in your power to create something absolutely magnificently magical. Yeah. Um, now, I'm just being told woman holding a heart to actually read this one from the book. So I'm going to do that. Let's have a look here. Okay, so it came out upright. So let's have a look. The woman on this card wears a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart in her hands. For a woman, this card upright could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and receptivity for love. Or it might be a message that your family issues are going to resolve. You are an intuitive woman who understands 
the emotions of life and you're bringing that awareness to all that you do. This card upright could also indicate the presence of a female friend, teacher or confidant who's here to help with issues of love, family or emotion. This is an even-tempered and caring person who resonates with you and your emotions. This could also portend a new love interest or friend coming your way. And I don't, I, I kind of want to take out that if, you know, for a woman, because I feel like that could relate to anyone. But anyway, okay, so let's look more into door. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on a minute. Okay, there was far too many cards. And I just feel like they all fumbled. They didn't really come out purposefully. So, okay, door to romance for Virgo, please. Okay. Okay, so we've got um, we've got quieting the mind, quieting the mind. So that is, you know, again, this is this, um, what was it talking about um, today? Find your center in the chaos, right? Um, so this is how you do that. You quiet in your mind and go within and just let that be, yeah? Um, we've got smoke and mirrors. So this is really about getting out of this head, not... Um, <sighs> We've got the magician in the mirror, right? So this is about you being able to create anything that you can create, okay? W with this smoke here, it reminds me of, you know, creating an issue that is not there or does not need to be created, right? It's sort of like, oh, where there's smoke, there's fire, you know? But the thing is, sometimes we can create that ourselves by overthinking things, okay? So I feel like quietening the mind is very important for you to find your center right now here Virgo okay to allow that light to shine through because when you are able to do that and get hold of this and see clearly what is going on you will open up okay for everything and this door will open up for this trust to actually um I guess develop because I feel like it's something that needs to be worked on, right? It needs to be worked on rather than thinking, oh, yeah, no, I can't trust that person because of X, Y, Z. Actually sitting down, having a conversation with the person and going, hey, what went on there? And, and, and test that out and just see. Don't get fixated on one thing and go, oh, yeah, no, they're lying because I know it was this. Sometimes you have to take people's word unless actions or there's something else that can prove otherwise. You have to believe people just like you want to believe, be believed, right? Not everyone is out to get you. Not everyone is out to hurt you, Virgo. Some people are just out to love you. Okay? So it's really important for you to realize this. Okay, so a woman... Woman holding a heart. Okay. We've got oh wow. the storyteller. So this is, you know, really starting this new chapter, right? What is it going to look like? What are you going to write? Here's the key. Here's the key, right? For the heart. How is that going to pan out? Going, having a natter to your future self and going, okay, right, what is this going to look like and how do we want it to um, it to look? What is this? I just repeated myself there, but anyway, you know what I mean, right? Um, the roses kiss, yeah. Um, this is about these thorns, I feel like. There's thorns. There's thorns on the stem of the rose. Yeah, happens. It's part of life. It's how we learn. It's how we grow. You have to endure the thorns sometimes to get to the beauty of what the rose entails. To allow yourself to shine through, right? To allow the love to shine through. Yeah, and, and that is a fact of life. It's not all rainbows and unicorns. Yeah. Love is messy. 
It's not like out of a fairy tale. Like we're led to believe. It's messy. Okay, Virgo, gosh, look at the time. Um, we have beyond the ordinary here. So this is you opening up to what is possible. What can you possibly create and what is it that you can manifest here? Because manifestation is inspired action, right? So sitting down and writing down what is it that I truly want and then working towards that to make it happen for yourself. Okay, Virgo, what am I looking for outside of myself that is already within me? Are you looking for more guidance, confidence, peace, wisdom, love or something else? When we search outside ourselves, we can become overwhelmed, frustrated and never quite, sorry, never feel quite good enough. It's time to go inward to find everything you seek, all the answers you need to lie within you. The action that you need to take here, Virgo, is breathe in your favourite essential oil, inhale deeply into your belly, drop your shoulders and spend some time hanging out with your soul today. Ask for what you need and be ready for the answers. This is really tuning in with your soul and I absolutely adore this for you because this is what it is all about. Right? In order to create the life that you want, this is what you need to do is tune into that soul of yours. Okay? Rather than focusing on the physical and what's on the outside that you can see, focus on the inside here. Okay, one more card for... Okay, thank you. Woman holding a coin. Okay. Yeah, this is... I feel like, what are you planting really looking at what is it that you're growing how are you going to nurture that and what does that look like and then we have envy here okay so mm, interesting woman holding a coin tell me more about this for Virgo please and um okay whoa Okay, so we've got um, opening to discovery. See, this is this keyhole again. This is so prominent in your reading, right? Opening to discovery with the coin, you know, working out what to invest your self into. Yeah, I feel like the coin is representative of an investment and the investment is you. You are the asset here, yeah? So how are you going to invest into yourself, okay? Opening up to discover that and what that will look like. Releasing the things that don't serve you, that aren't going to help you get to where it is that you want to go. And we have awakening genius, yeah? Because this is going to help you to make progress in a way that you never have before. And I think even you're going to be surprised at yourself here. Envy. This is letting go of these negative feelings, I feel, that oh, these people have this and why should they have that, you know? When I've been doing all this work, I've got a good heart. Um, tell me more about Envy, though, for Virgo, please. be other people being envious of you as well right when you start to make progress mm, it is what it is it is what it is it's acceptance right acceptance of what has happened has happened okay because some of you are potentially looking at um people who have hurt you in the past and they've got they appear to be um, progressing with your life and you're quite envious of that. Um, and yeah, it's not, a, it's not a positive feeling for you to hold within in order to manifest. So it's, it's this willing release of those sorts of energies within you and those feelings because that's not going to help you progress. There's no point actually pouring energy into that kind of feeling um, because it's not going to get you anywhere ever. Just fo focus on yourself, right? Healing the heart. Healing what you need to heal 
in order for you to get to where you want to go and the oracle's gift okay this is what is in this cup again um where is it oh yeah yeah seeing your future what it is that you want and making that grow okay and when you heal that heart that is going to be a lot easier for you to actually do okay virgo so yeah i am going to leave that with you take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye